Welcome to our YouTube channel again. This is Ethan Kurz from Kurz Trading, and today is uh, my first time for uh, deassembling a headphone from Bang Olufsen. It is the, I think it's the most popular one. Is the Beoplay H9. It's the uh, third generation, and it's as a very popular headphone from Bang Olufsen. I think is they have exported to nearly all around the world. And today we're gonna deassemble it as usual, and we're gonna see what's inside the product. We're gonna remove the head covers, or the head pads, or ear pads, what we call them, and we're gonna take a look what's inside the headphones. Uh, the H9 uh, is designed by Jakob Wagner. Uh, Jakob Wagner has uh, is a great designer from Bang Olufsen. Has designed many products for them. And the type is uh, all ear, uh, so the ear is gonna fit right in here. And they have used a lot of materials to produce and design these headphones. We have aluminium, fabric, leather, stainless steel, and polymer or plast. And the dimension is uh, its dimension is millimeters. Uh, it's uh, 197 times 200 and times 52. And the weight is around uh, 280, and with the cables is 295 grams. With the audio cable, if you want to, uh, don't use the Bluetooth connectivity. You can just plug them into uh, uh, mini jack 3.5. The technology inside the the, the headphones, uh, we have active noise cancellation. It's very good. Um, they, they, they have uh, used great technology to block the, the, the sound from outside to inside the headphones. And we also have an electrodynamic driver. It's in uh, 40 millimeters uh, in diameter. And the driver sensitivity is uh, 95 decibel. And frequency range is between 20 to two, uh, 22,000 hertz and the impedance is 24 ohms and in the app if you connect these headphones uh, into the app with the bang olufsen app you can actually uh, customize the iq so we can uh, get more uh, deep bass or high treble and low flat and you can customize it however you want it that's also great from bang olufsen they have make a very nice uh, uh, app to do all these kind of stuff and the app is also very great to uh, maintain and navigate on uh, the battery life is uh, up to 25 hours uh, with the bluetooth and uh, ASC and connectivity uh, active noise cancellation the battery life can be reduced a little bit and the charging time is uh, approximately around the uh, uh, three hours inside the Beoplay H9 we have uh, around 1110 milliamp hour uh, battery and the Bluetooth connectivity is uh, technology is 4.2 and we also have a great uh, sound decode is APTCX latency and we have AAC, SBC, and CVC. And these headphones has also Google Voice Assist. So you can use the, the Google technology and, and these headphones. Uh, we have six microphones integrated in this uh, H9 headphone. Uh, we also have uh, some outputs. We have uh, USB-C and 3.5 mini jack. And that's it. So uh, today we're gonna deassemble it, and we're gonna see what's inside the uh, inside this beautiful product. So uh, let's begin. I've done some research, and I think we're gonna uh, uh, remove uh, the ear cups, ear pads. You can just twist them. Uh, let's say we're gonna change the battery one day, and you know you're gonna. Uh, you know you know how to do it you just need to twist it and these uh, ear cups is also replaceable you can uh, order uh, new from uh, on the local uh, bangles dealer or you can order them from the website it's in a pretty rough condition 
also gotten cheap. Here is the headphone without ear cups. And we have the driver here on each side, 40 millimeters. So let's try to see if we can, uh, there's uh, four screws here. Let's try to see if we can remove them. So uh, yeah, let's see if we can. Also these headphones has been in, uh, I think there's three version. This uh, H9i and this is the H9. And we also have an upgrade. I, I'm not sure if there's any upgrade from H9. It's the first generation. So um, I'm just trying to make this video in one shot. Remove all the screws. Also, this uh, headphone is uh, fully functional. Uh, I just tested them. It's, uh, it's very great. Uh, the Bluetooth connectivity was easy to connect with the app. And yeah, it's pretty s simple to do uh, to connect to the. I I'm using iPhone, so it was very easy to do it. So uh, right now, we have removed screws. So uh, I just need some grounding. Always protect yourself and also the electronics. So let's try to see if we can remove this. Oh yeah. So here we have the the driver, and we have the all the electronics. I think, I think we have the the Bluetooth connectivity, and we have the on-off switch, and we have the input to charge the battery. I think the battery is in here, so the battery is going all the way. Cables all the way here to on the side. So let's. I think we can uh, remove, let's try to get some tools and remove, mm, there's one screw here and one screw here and I think that's it. But we can also see if we can remove the screws from here and uh, get into the driver. I think we should uh, cut the cables so we can. go and here is a driver uh, there is uh, four screws we need to remove uh, let's try to see if we can uh, open it up and see what's inside holding by four screws here so also if you're gonna maintain your H9 driver and you're gonna order I think I don't even think think you can order these uh, parts from Bang Olufsen. So that's great. We have one piece here and let's see if we can open it up. I think they have glued all the way around. Yeah. Yeah, they have uh, glued all the way around. Why they have done that? Yeah, they have uh, glued all the way around. So we can even check what's inside. Maybe, wait a second, I'm also curious what's inside, but. Hmm. I'm not sure we can open it up. Also, why they have glued all together? They have used screw and... I'm not sure if you want it like this. I'm, I'm a little bit... I want to see what's inside here, so... Uh, And open it up.
So um, I'm not sure it, it, if the, is it possible to remove the driver. So, um, but let's continue to try to see if we can remove it. Here we go. So let's see if we can. Sometimes we just need to. And definitely, if your speaker driver is uh, is damaged, I think it's not repairable. It's also one of the thing Bang Olufsen is not good at. If you, uh, it's not cycle. Let's say uh, uh, one day your left speaker is uh, dead and you just want to change that besides just go outside and buy some new stuff. It also need to be, re be repairable. Uh, so uh, here we go. So uh, this one is damaged. You can see it's a complete uh, driver. Uh, yeah. So here is the speaker driver. 40 millimeters. Look like this. I think that's it. I think we can't go into much deeper in it, but let's see if we can. I think we can get it out. Here we go. Here we go. Here is the driver. So uh, the driver was in, in three pieces. Uh, here is the, the protector. And here is the speaker driver itself. Uh, look like this is 40 mi 40 millimeter <clears throat> is electro dynamic driver and here is this this is three pieces so we have it here I'm gonna put it here so the next step is uh, we're gonna uh, remove the the main board uh, the main board is uh, only in two screws so the speaker driver is definitely not repellable uh, I think uh, Bang Olufsen just changed this one complete so uh, the speaker driver is like this and they will just uh, solder these two uh, these two fork uh, solar points and just change the, the wiring to a new one. That's e easy enough, but they, I think though they don't change this one. It's too much process to do it, but uh, yeah. This is also a learning thing for me. I'm just showing uh, how the build quality is, how they managed to produce uh, this uh, high-end it's also also a very costly headphone from Bang Olufsen, so uh, it's a not cheap headphone. I think that's it. So let's try to lift it up. Here we go. So we can remove it here and remove the, the cable. And here we go. So uh, let's try to see if we can 
remove the things. I thought we're gonna have a s short video, but uh, it's okay long. Um, also, the build quality is, is great. They have uh, they have uh, developed this headphone and the design solution is great. And also, the material wise. It's a lot of great materials they have used. It's also premium. Uh, oh, and here is the ah here is the touch button functionality. Also, we forgot to talk about this one. You can actually uh, uh, I think it's this side. You can volume up and down, and here you can sw switch songs, and uh, you can also turn to. Activated active noise cancellation, and also uh, I think you can also customize it. So you can uh, press on this one and say if you're gonna activate vo uh, Google Voice Assist. Here we go. And here we go. Boom. If you can get this main board. Actually, the main board is fully functional, so. Uh, if we have a dead main board, you can order this one. And here's the microphone. How on earth are we gonna take this out? Uh, I think we're gonna cut it here. I think I'm gonna invest in a small sole. Here is the, the aluminum pads. Can we get it out? I think we can. I think they also have glued this one in. There must be. Otherwise. You know, yeah, they have glued. They have glued it all the way around. Bengals has, has, are not scared about the glue. They have glued everything together. And this, I think, is going to be sold like this. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to heat it up with heat gun and. Think we're gonna damage this board um, yeah also it's in very rough condition but uh, it's very thin I think I don't even think I can no I, th I can't get it underneath it so it is like this so bang all sense as uh, glued all four corners so yeah so next step Let's see what we have here. Can we remove this one? The cable is going here. Microphone. How are we gonna? Oh. We can press this down. Nope. So this is a fixed point. So interesting how they have put this on. Uh, That's pretty rough. Switch. I'm gonna break it. So we need to figure out how Bang Olaf Bang Olufsen has managed to do that. Can we have some look here or no? It's just need to pull. Press down. Anyway, the build quality is very great. Uh, okay, let's try to focus on this side. Let's uh, remove the... Let's remove the other side. And we also have the serial number. 
right here. All Bang Olufsen product has a serial number, even the accessories, stands, they have put serial number for everything they can. Also to track where the products are, even they have been sold in second market. So here we go, let's see if we can pull the drive out here. And I think we're gonna locate a battery. Yes, exactly. So let's see if we can cut the cables here. It's pretty tough cable. Here we go. And here is the other driver. We're gonna put it here. Um, here's the battery. The battery is also, I think, made in China. Lithium ion battery pack. And if you want to change that, you can also do that. There's only, I don't think they have screwed this one in. You can just lift it up. glue together so one if you want to change the battery you can just do that also yeah, also pretty rough to remove here we go so here's the battery if you wanted to change the battery you need to remove the what it's called, if the headphone lies like this, is the left side. Uh, you need to remove the ear, the driver. First, remove the ear cup, remove the driver, and then uh, remove the battery and plug it in. The new one. So uh, <clears throat> let's. Uh, Remove this one. Also, the the colors they have made, they have made many options. They also have made limited editions. Um, that's also great. I think you even can customize it if you are good friends with Bang Olufsen. <laughs> so yeah, we are right now we're in process to remove the. Play H9. Go. Uh, I'm very, very curious how they have managed to put the this. Here we go. Last screw. Here we go. Remove the PCB board. Boom. Microphone. Okay, so they're all connected here. screws here we go so we are still stuck with this one I'm not sure how we gonna handle this so I just done some uh, quick research there's a pin we need to remove uh, if we can get this pin out from here. So let's see if we can uh, get it out. I don't think even we have the right tool to do it. Wow.
And the next process is to remove this. I don't even have the correct tool to do it, but wow, it's a small pin. This. It's not the best tool to do it with, but uh, this is only what I have. Uh, yeah, I think we're stuck here. So uh, we need to have this pulled out in some way. Let me see if I can find some tool to, to pull this out. If you can see, there's not the gap and there's no room to check it out. So yeah, take a small screwdriver. So bang all of one definitely not you two get this speaker repaired oh god <sighs> what can we do about this uh... So here is the aluminium, they have just put a pin inside the aluminium so they can hold the structure. So uh, I don't have the tool to do it. Let us try again here. Just break it. Or leave it. I think we're gonna break it. Just break a piece here. Ah, oh, it's so yeah, sure. Oh, can we just pull it out from this side? I think we can just press this one here. Maybe if we get it out. Okay, let's try to see if we can remove this one first. Yeah, here we go. So we can just press here. We always learn something new when we have the progs in the, in our hand. Wow, that's stuck too. Did they glue the screw in? Okay, let's try to see if they have done also in that way. No. So, uh, <laughs> we need to have this screw out in a way. I can't even press it down out. Oh, 
Why they have done it that way, man? That is so strange. <sighs> I think they have glued in in some way. I can't even press it down out. Is there any room to do it? Let's put this one here so we can see we can no they have glued together i think they have used a loctite or something to hold this piece together maybe they have a experience that the, this piece is Falling out. No, it's super tight. I think we're gonna break it. So uh, here we go. We already have broke it in a way. This is our last chance. So here we go. I know this is not the correct way to do it, but uh, we need to have it out right now here we go so let's try to see if we can get a piece out right now I know that's just not the correct way to do it but uh, we need to have this pin out in some way in another way so where's the pin is here what so the pin was right here and okay I think I've broke something but uh, how did they manage to do that Bang all of always uh, it's a little bit I don't know it's a fraud. It's not stitched. Just remove this one. So uh, what a hell product bang on I think I'm gonna so let's see if we can remove it here. this one I know I gave a little bit up to remove the pin but the, the pin was pretty stuck anyway the build quality is, is very very high and Going underneath here, 
Wow, that's nice mechanism they have made. There we go. A lot of pieces, damage pieces. So, uh, you think this is stitched? Ah, that's that's not correct. They have just glued together. So uh, it's always great to hide something. No, this is not the correct way to Interesting part, where is the screw hole? So this was should be located right here. Here we go. So, uh, this one, here we go. Here we go. So this one cannot be removed because we broke that. Wow, what a mess we have done here. I know that's not the correct way, but <laughs> here we go. So, uh, <laughs> let's see if we can okay that this piece is stitched so uh if we can remove it there's a knife oh i don't want to cut my hand fingers That was too much. Here we go. So um, here's the leather piece Bangor has used. Uh, it's okay quality. 
and here is all here's the the pad where your head is resting on and i did actually i didn't know the process is gonna be like this so um let's also remove this one uh, here we go together <laughs> okay uh, let's see, we can remove this one, this piece, no. There we go. Remove the tape. Okay, how did they manage to do that? That's very interesting. Um, Okay, um, I'm not the engineer, but uh, how did they do that? You know what, let's try to clean the tape a little bit. So we are in process to see uh, if we can deassemble all uh, the PCB board and the cable together. Uh, I don't think... I'm not sure if they have glued also this one, but it can freely uh, uh, be able to move back and forward. So, uh, um, also here, this is very interesting how they have done it. They have first put the cable in, then put the plastic around. Also here. So my question is how is how's it even possible to remove this piece of metal so we can pull it out and pull this out I think is it possible to repair this uh, oh very interesting how they have built this Remove this one, take this one out. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave it as it is. So, uh, that's it. It's very interesting uh, why Bangalore has uh, built in this way, but uh, it's probably no one should be able to repair their own headphones. Also, uh, this piece right here is, is completely stuck. So, um, it's very illustrating, but, uh, yeah, I think we should uh, stop right here because, uh, I don't know how I'm able to move this pin or even, 
uh, this one, uh, this. I, th I think they have used uh, something grease to able to remove. Uh, also, this. So uh, also very interesting why they have done it that way because. Yeah, you know what? We should leave it as it is and talk about the parts. And yeah, let's clean the table and bring all the parts at the table. So this was actually a demonstration what's inside a uh, BioPlay uh, H9 third generation. Uh, we have a lot of plastics uh, uh, around the, the headrest. The headrest is here. Uh, was around in this position and uh, yeah we also have the, the complete driver the driver is uh, in in three pieces we have the black and we have the complete driver and if you want to change your drive you can actually do it you don't just need to solder the two cables but uh, i think bang olsen just want to buy new headphones instead of uh, repair them by yourself uh, this is only, I don't know why they have made a stitching marks. I think this is uh, two separate materials. And here's the ear cups. Uh, only the ear cups are made for uh, changing. Uh, this is very easy to change them. Um, yeah. Also we have the battery. You can also change the battery by yourself. You just need to remove left side of the ear cup, remove the driver. And the battery is just placed right underneath the left uh, driver. And we have the, the main board. And we also have some microphones. And yeah. I think that's it. Uh, it was very interesting to see how Bang Olsen has done this. So uh, thank you for watching. I hope you will subscribe to my channel. And yeah. None of these parts will be available to true in my shop because it's completely damaged also it's it's not meant to be repairable and not to change the parts even the drivers uh, it's very sensitive so yeah so thank you for watching and have a nice day and also remember to subscribe to my channel so yeah have a nice day and stay tuned